Hi, this is Ryan with Butter Tattooing, and today we're going to be giving you advice on how to take care of a new tattoo if you work a labor job. Rock and roll. All right, there goes the truck. Um, I already wrote it out ahead of time just because I might as well keep my ideas in order here because I haven't been doing this very much quite often, very often lately. So. I feel a little rusty getting in front of the camera again. Anyways, um, we're going to be doing a bunch of these about how to take care of a new tattoo if you work in a specific field of work. Um, just to make sure that, you know, if you are out there and you work in like a labor job or the medical field, or if you're an accountant, maybe you can have a couple tips on how to best take care of your tattoo to ensure it heals effectively. So, since I've already written these out, I don't have to use my marker too much today. But I'll keep it in my hand. It's kind of like the Bob Dole thing. I can just feel a little bit more confident. Anyways, if you don't know who that is, that's fine. I'm old. Sorry. Anyways. First step, taking care of it if you work a labor job. Let's, let's start off with this first. What's a labor job? If you, if you work outside, well, you'll know if you have a labor job if you have one, but for those who don't, um, a labor job is if you work outside with your hands in a construction, you know, if you're a plumber, even whatever, electrician, I know they'd be like, that's trades work, it's not labor. It's still general labor, you guys. Like, I mean, if you do flooring contracting, yes, it could be a specialized trade. I understand there's a specific laborers union. I don't care. If you're outside working with your hands, you're a laborer, okay? hit me up later and we can whatever about it. I don't care. So how do we do it? Or how do we best take care of a tattoo in that situation? Um, realistically, what we're worried about is anything that's going to be coming in contact with your tattoo, right? If it's like mud, dirt, debris, you know, like big sharp things or like dull things, crushing things. Uh, we don't want to touch the tattoo because it could harm it and it'll make it heal ineffectively, right? So we came up with this trick. I had a, a client like 20 years ago, it was in the first year I was tattooing, who worked at this concrete packing plant. And we did two sleeves on him in a year and like he came up with this and then we tested on a bunch of people in various trades and it seems to work very good, uh, depending on your skin tone and complexion uh, and things like that. But you can go check out the, um, the articles on the website that talk about your skin tone, complexion, how to take care of a tattoo. Uh, if you want to learn some more information about that or let us know and we'll make a video, whatever. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, this dude came up with this stuff. He's like, I just, you know, put on some moisturizer, put on this, this sock on my arm, and then, you know, all the dust that's in the air, it ends up collecting on the outside of it. Just roll it up when it's done and, you know, throw it away at the end of the day, and my tattoo looks great. I was like, that's pretty smart, dude. So, I'll pass this on to you now, right? Uh, so yeah, step one, if you're going to be doing this, get a sock, right? Um, thicker socks usually in winter are kind of nice. Um, in summertime, if you want to get like a pair of soccer socks, they're actually pretty good as well if you're worried about sweating or if you do sweat a lot um, or if you're worried even about getting some sun uh, on it, right? You can change the colors of, accordingly depending on the region or space that you live in at elevation, et cetera, et cetera. Just, you know, get something that's going to feel comfortable. That's the first step, right? Uh, what you're going to do is take that sock and cut the toe out, right? Just pull it out, cut it like the toe straight off so it turns it basically into like a tube, right? That's a, a cylinder as opposed to being a closed end thing. If you want to be boss, you can cut finger notches out of it. If you got tattoos on your forearm, you can just like, ooh, good. I've got like a finger glove. I don't know. Um, anyways, you'll cut the toe out and then you turn it inside out um, on all socks for the most part, unless they're like fancy argyles, which don't cut up argyles to put on tattoos, it's just weird. Um, they have one side on the inside is like, it's got fingers on it. You can see there's a little bit of texture. It's the wicking side. On the outside, it's smooth, which is usually just gonna be like a friction modifier, right? If you're inside shoes, you're not gonna have those things gripping onto it, which is gonna increase the chances of you picking up a blister, right? Just from moving about. So we don't want the, the textured side with the fingers on our tattoo because one, it's gonna increase the surface area. So there's more chance of that tattoo, especially if it's new and weeping, or maybe it gets wet or it gets dirty while you're working, getting stuck to the sock, right? A bunch of fingers kind of pressed up against it. Taking it off when it does that is just, it's not going to do anything to help your tattoo heal better. It's just going to be more work to try and get it off to take care of your tattoo. So we don't want that. We want the smooth side. So one, it can be pulled on easy um, and two, removed a little bit easier as well. And then you don't have the wicking effects, drying it out, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways. So we turn this out, we're gonna pull it on gently. Now, I say gently because it depends on what stage your tattoo is healing. Like if it's fresh and new, you'll feel it's tender to the touch maybe. Don't touch your tattoo, put a touch around it. Anyways, when you go to pull it on, it may like, you know, you'll feel it, maybe it's being a little bit tight, maybe it feels good, maybe it doesn't. Uh, judge, right? Like it, this shouldn't be uncomfortable when you put it on. It should be loose enough or feel protective enough that you actually have a sense of security wearing it. Um, but do it gently, you know, especially when you start getting into the uh, later stages, uh, if you have a little bit of sloughing, where it's just like the dry skin kind of looks like a, sun, a sunburn peeling. <laughs> um, or if you 
uh, even like maybe had a bit of a heavier handed artist and there's like some cracking or you had a hard time healing it, their scabs. You don't want to just pull them right across that and rip them out because that's not good. You'll just want to gently kind of place it over top of it. Make sure it feels good. You got some support. It's like pantyhose for your arm. Don't use pantyhose, but you'll do that and it'll keep it, you know, nice and secure. Okay. Um, and then you wear it through the day. Usually before you put it on, you can put on some lotion if you want to. Um, I always recommend lotion instead of something like A&D um, or Aquaphor or Vaseline. I mean, if you go to the website, you can read many articles as why I choose that. Um, I don't have to get into it now. But uh, yeah, put on a gentle bit of, or a little bit of lotion gently on top of your tattoo. Don't heap it on, right? Um, and when you do it, like if you have a small tattoo here, if it's on your leg or whatever, cover that entire appendage right? Instead of just doing a small space, that's going to help influence the microbiome. So you're less likely to pick up um, an opportunistic infection, which we have a, an article on the website about that right now is uh, some of the additives in lotions and what they do to your skin. So you can check it out if you want. Um, yeah, so you just put it on gently, do this, it's, it, it's good, right? It'll sit on top of your skin and you'll use it until it gets dirty. And when it gets dirty, let's say you're out working, it's, it's a wet day, you live in the Pacific Northwest or something, and you get you know, mud splashed on or it's raining. If it's sitting on there and it's holding uh, dirty, nasty, gross stuff against it, you need to get it off there because it's a wound, right? So if you do work a super dirty job, maybe this isn't the best way to take care of it, especially if it's like a wet, dirty job. Um, but if you do bring enough changes of the socks with the toes cut out that are turned inside out, you can usually try to like swap it out as much as, uh, as possible to make sure that you're keeping the tattoo clean and dry and you're not like making it too wet, disgusting and covered in mud. Um, if you do work in a wet job and you need to change it often, you don't have to re-moisturize and wash it every time. Um, you're just gonna try to keep it dry, right? Usually what I'll do is I'll recommend, recommend to people who work these type of jobs that like around noon time, you know, lunchtime, whatever you're gonna be doing with your, your job specifically, um, go and wash it. If you're out in the field and you don't have a, a, like a washroom or bathroom, a sink, whatever to wash it in, um, just bring a jug of like clean water from your house, right? It's potable water. Don't use a hose outside or, you know, I don't know, puddles, it's, oh, anyways. Um, just, yeah, bring some water, give it a rinse. You don't have to use soap, you don't have to give it the full nine, right? You just just rinse it off, make sure that there's no dust and stuff that it collected from the, uh, the sock when you're like using it as a cover. Oh yeah, taking it off too. Depending on how dry and dusty your job is, I should have written that up there. Anyways, uh, like if you work as a machinist or a cabinet maker, or, you know, concrete packer, stuff like this, when you go to take off your, your sleeves, right, um, if you pull them off real quick or do something else, you can just stir up a bunch of dust that's going to end up falling onto your tattoo. I use my arm as an example. I mean, legs work just as well, but you can see this because you're in the air. Anyways, um, instead of just like ripping it off, like roll it up gently and slide it off easily, right? That'll con contain all of the dust, everything that's on there. You'll get less on your tattoo and then you can just kind of take it, roll it out, you know, and when you get it recovered, you can give it a shake out and throw it in a bin or take it home and just, you know, wash it, recycle them and, and keep using them as they go. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. I talked really fast through this. Anyways, so uh, that's it. Yeah, use a sock. It's a great way to cover up your, your tattoo if it's new, if you work in labor. Give you a little bit of cushion. It can keep some of the moisturizer against it, actually. It's pretty well. It gives you sun coverage, especially if you're working outside so you don't pick up a burn. And it'll help it uh, like not get dirty because that sock is going to be collecting stuff uh, instead of your skin. Anyways, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.